Good morning. So today I was feeling tater pie. Pie is not something I would eat too regular. And especially now where we don't have much opportunities to go to the gym and go running, as I really love to do. You have to be more cautious of what you're eating. So, but I was really feeling for one today, so I decided to put one together. I'm going to use some yams and some sweet potato and make a pie. So let's get cracking. Click the bell for new videos. Let's pick some sweet pepper and some pimento. I like to add some fresh seasonings and vegetable to my pie, but today is mostly these seasonings. So we have some black pepper, salt, onion, the pimento I just picked, the sweet pepper I just picked, one egg and some cheese. We have our coconut for the milk and our yams and sweet potato. I'm just cooking a little bit because it's just for one I'm cooking for. So I'm going to peel out the sweet potato and the yam, put that on the fire and see about the coconut. Now my provision is on the fire, my coconut is blended, so to my blended and strained coconut I am adding the freshly grind black pepper and salt and I'm also going to add the entire egg, my seasoning is already chopped and I am going to grate the cheese when I'm ready to use it, I don't like grating it and setting it aside. And my seasoning is chopped and as I mentioned I'm going to grate the cheese when I'm ready to use it. All right, so my provision at this point was really cooked. I like to make sure that they cook really soft and nice before I remove them. So once it is cooked, I am going to add some butter. This is optional, you don't need to add the butter, but the butter will add a little more salt. As you notice, I didn't add any salt when I was boiling the provision because I wanted to add some butter to this and the cheese has salt. So that's why I didn't add any salt when boiling my provision. Again, sodium, and if you're trying to maintain your weight, you want to control how much sodium you're taking in on a daily. All right, so once my provision is properly well mashed, and I'm going to add now the onions, sweet pepper, and pimento, and the grated cheese, half of the cheese that was on the plate, I'm going to mix that in properly. Then I'm going to add my coconut milk. I chose to use coconut milk instead of a full cream milk or a carnation milk. Where you could cut back on using dairy, try and do so because I'm already using egg, I'm already using cheese. So I didn't want to add any other milk so I decided to use some coconut milk, which is healthier anyway. So once it is properly well incorporated, that is the all of the seasoning and the cheese and you give it a taste and it's tasting good then I am going to add everything to my properly properly greased pan as I mentioned I didn't add any salt in boiling because I wanted to add in the milk and I know the cheese has salt and the butter has salt so once my pan is greased I am going to add the mixture you can see how nice and cheesy this mixture is after adding it to my pan i am going to take the last piece of cheese and grate on top of the mixture we just placed in the pan and when that is done i decided to add some parsley just to be fancy for absolutely no reason at all <laughs> and also to give it some extra flavor so this is my pie after 20 minutes at 350 degrees and we're going to let it cool. Note, you can use a dairy free cheese and you don't need to use egg. And I did not use any milk, any full cream milk, I used coconut milk. Now let's cut into our pie. It's really soft and delicious 
I controlled the amount of salt that I wanted in this by not boiling the provision with any salt. I only added a little bit of salt to the coconut milk because I know the cheese has salt and I know the butter had salt. So this is what it looks like after cutting into it and I have to tell you adding that uh, parsley really really brought out a lot of extra flavor in that pie and all the natural oils and flavor from the parsley help. Hope you enjoyed this recipe and simple ways that you can turn a very rich pie into something very healthy and enjoyable. And don't forget the link for my previous video would be in the end screen. How I 